Hey everybody, welcome to another keyboard review video. Today I got the GK64XS. It is a 60% keyboard that I think a lot of people are gonna love. All right, so let's check it out. Okay, so this is the GK64XS. It is a 60% hot swappable keyboard that I do recommend to a lot of people that are just looking into get into building the first mechanical keyboard because this is so cheap and so worth it. Personally, I don't really like 60% keyboards because there's no F keys up top, but if you are one of those people that don't have a lot of desk space, then you can take advantage of this one. There is a USB type C connection, but there is no pass through for any accessories that you might have. Okay, so the casing of this keyboard is white plastic, but it is very durable. There's no flex whatsoever. It does have this minimalistic look to it, so it kind of fits into any kind of environment. On the bottom of the keyboard, there is no adjustable feet. It just had these rubber pads that kind of prevent it from slipping. So if you are somebody who's looking for adjustable feet, then you have to look somewhere else. Okay, so the best part of this keyboard is that it is hot swappable. That means that you can take out any switches that you want and replace it with any cherry, Kale or Gatron switches that you want. You don't have to deal with soldering and desoldering just to switch out to another switch or to lube your switches. I think it's actually pretty perfect for beginners who are looking to get into mechanical keyboards. It provides you with a lot of flexibility in trying out different types of switches. Also, it lets you get into more advanced stuff such as like lubing the switches or lubing the stabilizers. Overall, there are so many different types of combinations that you can do to like make this fit for you. Okay, so when you order GK61, it comes in a pre-built kit. It doesn't look like this actually. So it comes with the PCB, casing, backplate, and also the stabilizers pre-installed. So all you need to do is just buy the switches, buy the kit, and also buy the keycaps that you want, plug it in, and it should work fine. It's actually super beginner friendly. I actually built this exact keyboard on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash no underscore name, huh? Where I only took an hour and a half maybe to build. The switches I got for this exact board is Gatron Yellows. I kind of like it, but I'm planning on switching them out with something else like a Gatron Brown or something like that. Okay, so the keycaps. This is the Chinese ink style keycaps. They look pretty good. They are PBT keycaps and they look good and they feel good. Okay, so a couple of videos ago, I talked about the same exact board with Gatron optical switches. Personally, I don't recommend that board because they only accept Gatron optical switches and not Cherry MX style switches. This one takes any type of Cherry MX, Gatron, or Kale switches. So I highly recommend this one instead of the Gatron optical version. Also, there is software for this keyboard. It lets you change macros and also lighting modes, but there is a slight learning curve to knowing how to use the software. It's kind of difficult. But yeah, let's do a sound test. Bruh.
Okay, so I think a lot of the appeal of this keyboard is that it is inexpensive, it looks good, and it feels good. It's no wonder that a lot of people recommend this keyboard as their first starter mechanical keyboard build, and I believe so as well. This is a pretty good choice. Okay, so if you want to order the GK64XS, I have the links to the switches, the keyboard, and also the keycaps down below in the description. They're from a website called banggood.com. Banggood.com is a great place to find some inexpensive keyboards and also keyboard accessories. They did send this out to me free of charge for me to review, and also they're sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you don't like the keycaps or the switches, feel free to shop around banggood.com. They have all kinds of different switches and keycaps available. If you do decide to build this exact board, this comes out to be around $100 to $110. Compared to a lot of other hot swappable boards, this is a lot less expensive and I highly recommend this one. Just having the ability to swap out a switch is worth it in my opinion. It's a great way to try out different switches and keycaps and I think this is pretty good for both beginners and enthusiasts. All right, that's about it. If you want to see more content, please check out my Twitch channel. Dude, look at what you've been missing out on, dude. Bro, when, when girls, they put like, like, uh, like a thing over, like right here, Right, the next morning? It usually means that the previous night, they've been sucking dick. Hey, that's pretty funny, right? Yeah, link is in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!